Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, ensure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. So I'm just reminding you, by supporting me, like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto is now biting off more than he can chew. He is being used to fight America's wars. And he is now daring Russia, President Putin. And let me ask, how will Kenya benefit from this nonsense? You know, how is Kenya going to benefit as he is saying that Russia aggression against Ukraine is unlawful, unjust, and a violation of the fundamental principles of international law. Yes, you've quoted the law in accordance. But involving yourself in this war, what are you going to benefit the country with? Because already, William Root is fighting the fight that is not his. The other time is to deploy a thousand police officers in Haiti. Again, it was announced that William Ruto is going to be associated in Yemen war. The same man seems like is the one who is going to resolve. He's going to resolve the problem, not only in Africa but across the world. Listen to whatever William Ruto said. Seventy-nine years after the international community established a multilateral institutional framework to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has been a horrifying spectacle of carnage and devastation, which has left 500,000 people dead and 7.1 million people displaced in its wake. Across the world, people and nations are enduring the negative consequences of disrupted supply chains. Kenya's position has been clear and unequivocal from the beginning. Russia's aggression against Ukraine is unlawful, unjust, and a violation of the fundamental principles of international law, which honor the sovereign equality of nations, upholds their territorial integrity, and advocates the peaceful resolution of all disagreements. Just like the war in Ukraine, the war in the Middle East has been equally devastating. So is the case with the war in the Sahel region in Africa, in Eastern DRC, in Somalia, in the Horn of Africa, and of course in the Sudan. Forty million Africans have been displaced by the war in our continent, and 2.5 million kids are out of school. This state of affairs speaks volumes of global leadership, and especially the peace architecture at the United Nations, and more specifically, the gridlock. Now, Kenyans, Kenya was a non-aligned country. What happened? What happened? Because it seems like things changed. Things changed. And again, the question is, what nonsense is this we are engaging in? As our president is so eloquent, no, is so eloquent, about the wars that is across the world. Did we, did we elect William Ruto? I don't know who elected William Ruto. Did William Ruto, uh, of course, when he was sworn in in the office, was this the mission that William Ruto wanted himself to be involved in? Our country is burning with a lot of issues. National interest is now 
not the paramount thing that William Ruto is thinking about. Listen to Willis Otieno. Ruto's travels across the world. What is the benefit to the people of Kenya? As it were, you cannot even pinpoint any single thing. Mm -hmm. Last year, the hallowed travel was to Russia to get us fertilizer. Which fertilizer, they decided to put donkey shit and sell to farmers as subsidized uh, fertilizer. And our farmers are now going to witness a very failed harvest mm -hmm. because of that. Today, Ruto was in Italy lambasting Russia uh, because now he's in the company of the U.S. and its allies. Mm -hmm. And yet last year it was Russia that was going to help our food production to be boosted. So whatever this man is doing abroad, no one knows what it is in for him. May I believe we are witnessing um, Alice in Disneyland, in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. He is living his boyhood dreams to travel the world and to see the Eiffel Tower and to see the, the, the Pisa in uh, Italy and to go and see the Grand Canyon in uh, the U.S. He is not doing anything that will benefit the people of Kenya. If it were, it is now more than 18 months since he came into office and he has traveled more than 63 countries. Tell me which new market has he opened for Kenyan produce. Tell me which bilateral <coughs> agreement has he signed that has benefited Kenyans. When they went to America, they told us all the lofty things that they came up with. But where's the tangibles? What did we give the Americans in return? Uh, from what I hear in the grapevine, we may have given them rights to set up a military base here. We may have given them rights to expand the Manda Air Base. Uh, we are turning into a Guantanamo Bay. Uh, the next thing we saw was the Americans saying that uh, we are going to be used as the Houthis to fight the fight in Yemen with the Houthis. What interest do we have in Yemen? What have the Houthis done to us that we want to get into a global fight between them and the US? That is not our interest. So what Ruto is doing internationally is... Now, Kenyans, I want to state it very clear. William Ruto should know that once the West is done with him, it will be pure tears from his eyes. No one is going to, to of course, consider him. Because William Ruto does not deserve to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Have you seen this nonsense in other African countries? And some are telling William Ruto, you don't have the right to talk to Russia because Russia stands for justice. That is what other Kenyans are saying. You better talk to America and Europe for trying to cross the red line with Russia. And my advice, Kenyans, is just to work with Russia. Yes, we condemn war. We are not part and parcel of supporting someone to beat someone else. But again, William Root is being used just to accomplish something and is a representative of West in Africa. As we always say that William Ruto is the West puppet, this man has sold Kenyan people very soon. We might see the results. And as for me, Africa needs to find a way to get rid of our president. Because at the same time he's being controlled like a remote, the man seems like so loyal to these individuals. I don't know what is this that William Root is getting from this individual. That is the question we are asking. What is this? And in fact, ladies and gentlemen, as I was just listening to the speech of William Ruto, that speech was seems like written by the NATO. And you know it very well. What again? You know? It is so, so traumatizing. That yes, some African president they also have their stance. Some are supporting Ukraine, some are supporting Russia. But again, because they want to work together, they want not to lose Ukraine, they will work irrespective of what the package, the package 
the package they are getting from the, the, the Ukraine. The same when they meet Russia, the same. So they usually don't hit anyone, but they condone the fight. But what are we seeing with our president, William Ruto? Sometimes I feel so sad for our continent to have such kind of, lead of leadership. William Ruto is our president. But he's representing who? These West countries. And the U.S. And he is their mouthpiece. But again, according to my research, Ruto needs to find out about the truth before he opens his mouth. Let him not be summoned in any meeting. Just the other time, we were told Kenya is none. A line, NATO. What happened? Has things changed? Which for me, I don't know. Has things changed? Because Yes, Kenya's position has always been clear. But remember, when you point a finger at others for appointing at you, such a disgrace. I know some people might not understand me. I might be right or wrong. But the reality is, you, yes, Kenya is having their position. The same to Uganda. The same to Rwanda. You know? The same to Nigeria, the same to South Africa. They have their stance. But you cannot point fingers at others. You know? Daring them. It is just a matter of time. William Ruto must realize that he's being used. And if the deal will be done, he will be disregarded. Seriously. He will be damned and nothing will be important from William Sameruto. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.